everybody my bad here coming in today with the sin cut bronte this is going to be a sin cut bronte overview now the sin cut bronte is using the same pocket clip as most generally every other civivi the sin cut bronte has wonderful action just like you would think of an old school 40 50 dollars civivi i believe that i picked this one up at blade show for 45 dollars and when I first got it, I wasn't thinking, hey, man, this is going to be an awesome knife or anything like that. I was thinking, hey, let's get outside of the box of your general blade shapes that you like. And I'm going to tell you what, I picked a phenomenal knife to get outside of my box with. I love this knife. I did not think that I was going to love this knife, but I love this knife. It's got a very nice neutral handle, and it's got... Um, what looks to be, I might have to get, get one of my, I'm not going to tell you all that because I can't tell, but it looks, it looks like it's uh, bronze washers, but it feels, it feels like bearings. So I don't know what to tell you on that. Um, it's very, very fun to fidget with. Of course, it's a front flipper. I like front flippers. I've had no problem front flipping it. That swedge right there makes it very easy to reverse flick. You can thumb flick it. You can slow roll it. You can do just about anything you want to. I can even take my finger go over the top of it. My pointer finger go over the top of it and flick it out. Now, I put this knife and this knife to the test last week last weekend now i have abused this knife this knife needs bad bad cleaning that's the d2 knife that i was talking about that was in my pocket doing construction sweating all over it for a week got rusted up and then i took it with this blade that was the only two blades that i took took with me on a fishing trip on the Mississippi River where I was dispersed camping and I was staying in a hammock and all I did was do bushcraft and fish, bushcraft fish, bushcraft fish. We caught 15 fish between me and my father. That's the only person who went with me was my father. Caught 15 fish. There was one that was like 30 pounds and uh, we actually caught 18 but I'll tell you about the other three in a minute. 15 catfish, the target fish. One was 30 pounds, there was like two of them that was in the 20s, and there was a bunch of them in between 15 and 20, and then we caught uh, eight flatheads uh, that was anywhere between two pounds and 10 pounds. It was a wonderful fishing trip, we had a lot of fun, and I did a lot of bushcraft with the Sin Cup Bronte, and this ain't the review for this, but the CRKT Minimalist. And they did phenomenal, especially the Bronte. This was my camp cook, camp cook knife this was my bushcraft knife this was my everything knife i gave the crkt minimalist over to my dad at, because he didn't bring a knife so he got to use that all, all camping trip so you're going to have to ask him about this thing this thing got you using the views this thing seriously needs to be sharpened up this 9 cr 18 mov held up decently and it's still got a working-ish edge. I wouldn't want to cut through another nylon strap again that's double-sided. Actually, four sides of nylon strap. I had to go in there and saw it because that blade, while it doesn't have any nicks, I'm surprised that tip doesn't have any nicks from what I was doing to it, but it doesn't have any nicks on it. I can't feel any with my, my, with my thing, but it's not shaving sharp anymore and if i had a piece of paper i'd show you i can use this uh this little cheap walmart ring lock box to demonstrate a cut but as you can see there it can still do it it can still go let me get this other side cut out so i can show you a little bit more without shaking my camera down Some of that's double sided, but that's okay. It can still go. It's still working edge, but that thing ain't razor anymore. Now this thing cut bait. This thing cut food. This thing cut 
me, this thing cut everything. When I cut myself right there, that went into a uh, vein. And when I pulled it out, blood shot out like this high. I'm not joking. There was blood all over the log that I was trying to cut and not cut me. There was blood all over the boat. There was blood all over me. I think I still got some shorts that hasn't been washed. It's got like a freaking blood spray pattern like that long. It was insane. But this thing, I like, I, I guess I was doing a pull cut and I was holding on to it. And I pulled up and then I went down into my hand. And about that much of it went into my hand and into my vein. And it was not fun. But me and this knife did some ride or die situations on that boat trip. I had to do um, Fowler. Um, can't think of his name. Um, the freaking um, survivalist guy for for um, for Condor Knife and Tools. Sorry, man. Sorry, I can't remember your name right now. Thank you for that medical kit. Definitely needed it on that fishing trip. Because, oh, my bad did a my bad. What can I say about this knife? That's bad. Pocket clip. But, I paid $45 for the knife. $45 budget knife. You're they're not going to recess that pocket clip. That's about the only thing I can hate on this knife about. The action's phenomenal. I love it. The blade steel is a great blade steel for $45. I would never turn my head away from non-CR18 18, 18 MOV at that price point ever. The, the fidget factor of this knife is just totally fun. I stayed out in that boat when I was fishing and the pole was in the water and I didn't have nothing to do and I just did this for like 30 minutes. I didn't even realize I was doing it. Dad was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm fidgeting. I'm <laughs> just messing around. <laughs> I was just going back and forth with it. I think I was annoying him with it, but it happens. You know how knife guys are, knife gals are. We love to fidget with the knives for the most part. But do I um, suggest a sin cut in Bronte? Yes. I don't think, I have not seen a sin cut right now yet that I would not suggest. Um, small side note. I know that I don't usually do the, the Chinese market thing firsthand, but the reason why I bought these is the guy at Blade Show that sold me the two knives was wonderfully uh, engaging. Uh, he was very, very helpful. He was wonderful to talk to, and he 100, I, I straight up told him, he's like, listen guy, if it wasn't for you, I was gonna buy these two knives, but you're wonderful. I enjoyed your time. Um, Sin Cut, I will buy from y'all no matter what just because the salesman y'all had at blade show 2022 the guy was wonderful i'm sorry i can't remember his name i'm like the worst person ever of remembering names but i appreciate you a lot and i appreciate the the conversation we had and the time that you spent with me but for the rest of this show please like share and subscribe comment on my bads videos tell my about what you'd like to see y'all have a good one now Bye -bye.